something to think about is enthusiasm. Sometimes they call it um, perseverance or even effort, joyful effort. I mean, forget joyful effort initially. So why would you think about this? Why do we need that? Well, we all know that, you know, we think of it this way, that we're this work in progress. It's a way of putting it, you know, we are moulding our mind into the mind of a happy, wise, fulfilled, content, self-confident person. It's a simple way of putting it, you know. So we know to, 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 take, to, to, to achieve any goal, you want to mould your mind into the mind of a musician, a carpenter, you know, a good mathematician. It's a, it takes work. You've got to stretch yourself. And that's called making effort. So, of course, we don't have this, we don't have this view often. We, we know how, as I say, we know how to mould our mind into the mind of a carpenter, but not into the, not into the mould our mind into the mind of a happy person. We think it's related to the, all the things out there, you know, but this is not the, this approach here. It's a very direct approach. You have to change your mind. So we need enthusiasm to do that. So what's the opposite of enthusiasm? The enthusiasm, the opposite is um, it can't be bothered. We all know if you want to achieve something, you want to achieve something, you have the goal, and then you know you have to make effort, necessarily, because you have to stretch yourself. Even just go to the gym, you want to lose weight, you want to go on a diet, you want to lose weight, simple things. You have to go beyond your comfort zone. We all know that, otherwise you don't get anywhere. So it's hard to go beyond our comfort zone when it comes to giving up attachment and anger and all the fears and the dramas. Of course, we don't necessarily think we can, but we can. So we need to make effort. And of course, because like with the gym, it's incremental, it's gradual. You don't turn into a marvellous body overnight. You don't turn into a carpenter overnight. You don't turn into a happy, wise, fulfilled, content person overnight. So we have to know, we have to have techniques, and we have to know it's gradual, and we have to know we have to have enthusiasm. So when you know the, and this is the key, when you know the benefits of your goal, when you know the benefits of a healthy body, you'll make effort. When you know the benefits of being a carpenter, you'll make effort. When you know the benefits and have confidence in the benefit of you working on your mind, which is to be more fulfilled, more, 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 more like we talked last time, more patient in the face of problems, more courageous, more confident, therefore more compassionate and empathetic, you know, then it's going to take effort. But it's one step at a time. Not just hit and miss, not just cross your fingers. We need to make effort. But eventually it becomes happy effort because you start to taste the result. This is so important, I tell you.